In virtual spaces, the ceiling is now the sky. And when we think about honoring the brilliance of children, we need to think closely about how we organize our spatial space and how it communicates intention and honors our students and their mathematical brilliance and the lives that they live in which math is already a part of. In that virtual space, the ceiling is literally the sky. And we think about it, the beauty of that, the ground and the sky, we can reimagine math, no walls, no ceiling, and so here's an example of a lesson that was done in our, our, our local community. We're in California. One third of the vegetables everybody eats in the US came from California, it came from us, right? Half of the fruits that you eat is from California as well. So then checking into our community, we have a large and vibrant farm workers community. Having families come in standing in the field that you're seeing right now, right? because we're all virtual anyway, standing in the field like right now in the cornfield and asking, how do I, where's the math? Where do you see the math around us? How might I use mathematics in my daily life? What might be the mathematics in our home garden? What is the volume, the soil, how much soil I've purchased? So for us to begin to shift and see that as we connect to our kids, as we connect to our environment, as we connect to the world around us, um, it humanizes mathematics.